What's up, YouTube? Mevin Ka, back with another Let's Play of The Mining of Isaac. Um, I'm going to finish my character rotation and today play as Samson, and I don't know if you noticed, but I also unlocked Platinum God in the game. So go me! Um, just to be clear, I had Platinum God unlocked a long time ago. It's just that the achievements in the game kind of glitched out and never unlocked it for me. Um, but I don't know what I did, but I unlocked it like just today, so... Yay me! Finally I have some some, rec some uh, recognition for my work. Um, and... Oh man, the Cellar XL, which means I need to get a key to go in there. That's disappointing. So you may be wondering, hey, what the hell happened to you? Like, you've been gone for a week or something, and it's true. I haven't really posted any new videos for a while, and that's because I've actually been gone for quite some time now. Um, just, a of, just away from recording and doing other things. Um, so a couple things happened. First was that I had to take a break to... I had to take a break in order to like do some work for class and stuff because in college you actually have to do work sometimes I guess, uh, which I oftentimes forget. Uh, you know. But in any case, uh, so I I had to do some work and then in the middle of that work my friend actually had to take away the microphone because he needed it back. Uh, you know, which is fair, like you know you get to do that with your own stuff. Uh, just meant, however, that I was not able to um, record any footage for a while until I got my own microphone. But I have a more permanent solution now, so hopefully I'll never have to deal with the whole, you know, not being able to record for a long time because I have no way of <laughs> recording all of the, the footage and stuff. So uh, hopefully this is the last of that sort of thing, and you'll never have to you'll never have to go another week without Mevin Ka. Um, so yeah, I'm playing as Samson. I don't like Samson as much as other characters, but he's not bad. Oh god, that was bad damage. Uh, so he starts out with Bloody Lust, which is a good item. Bloody Lust makes it so that I... Oh, so much money and no keys. This is bad. Bloody Lust makes it so that I can... Uh, that as I, as I kill enemies in a room, I get damage increases for that room. And it maxes out at a certain point. I'm not exactly sure when, uh, but it does max out. Uh, you know, I'm going to see if the secret room is right here, actually. Because I have a feeling that it is. Nope, it is not. That is so disappointing. Uh, I really wanted it to be there, um, but I guess, oh my goodness, how did he even hit me? Oh good, I got a key back though. Um, so Sanson, as you can tell, has really low health. That's sort of his first big hurdle that he has to clear. Most characters in this game have like strengths and like some pretty glaring weaknesses that prevent them from, uh, from doing well. Samson has good, uh, he has good, he starts with a good item, but he has no health, uh, his fire rate is really slow, and the only other thing he's got going for him is I think he has above average shot speed, uh, which, as you may know, I think is kind of a useless effect. I don't think shot speed is really that useful. Um, oh god, I'm gonna use my two of hearts because I'm scared that they'll blow up and kill me. Oh god, okay, good, another key. Um, so I'm gonna immediately go check out my other item room and hope that it's not a space bar item, uh, because... I don't really need more space bar items. I could use a health upgrade or a tears upgrade, something that overcomes some of these hurdles. The miter, it's not immediately useful, but it's very good in the late game because hopefully it'll help me accumulate a lot more spirit hearts. Uh, the miter, if you don't know, it's the Pope hat. It makes it so that the chance of a spirit heart dropping increases by a lot. So, uh, like I said, not like immediately useful, but oh, did I die? I just assume that he wouldn't hit me. Uh, rookie mistake, I guess, and I guess I'll restart, because that was pretty fast. Bob's Curse, five poison bombs. Well, uh, that's awkward. Um, I haven't played for like a week, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to play the game without being able to record any of the footage, in case like, you know, some crazy awesome thing happened to me. Um, so it also means that I'm kind of rusty. Um, like I just haven't played this game in a while. Um, not that that's an excuse, shame on me for dying, but hey, uh, I gotta try again now and hope for some better items. So far, a lot of bombs right now, which is a good thing. It's not bad to have lots of bombs. And poison bombs are actually quite useful. Um, damage over time is usually a pretty handy thing to have. Uh, let's kill this floating head guy and blow up some poop. And there we go. Uh, well, this is this is good. This is good. And hopefully that blows up the tinted rock. Maybe. Yes, it does. Uh, so see what that see what that was. I used I used my surroundings to my advantage. Uh, whatever that means. Anyway, so yeah, um, 
I really miss Let's Playing, so I'm glad to be back. And uh, having a mod Platinum God is a huge plus for me because now I get to finally have proof of all my Binding of Isaac prowess. Um, or you may not think of it as prowess. You may think I'm still pretty bad at this game. Um, and if you do, I mean, that's cool. You can think that. I think I'm pretty alright, though. Um, I'm also hopeful that this new microphone has some better microphone quality, audio-wise. So, uh, hopefully, things are sounding a little bit better for you, the viewer. Um, I'm enjoying my time here. This is great. I'm glad to be back. So, we got Curse of the Lost, and this floor is a little bit bigger. So, I'm going to take some time to blow up some poop, put out some fires, hope for some extra money. Uh, because I do want to get another key and some money so I can go to the shop. I don't want to take dumb... I don't want to take any dumb damage from this jumping jack here. Uh... Come on, dude, blow up. Okay. And, okay, so no key, which is too bad. Uh, I don't think there's an item room here, because that bomb blew up kind of close. So I'm going to use one of my many bombs and see if this is the item room. Or by item room, I mean secret room. And we get the spider bite, which is fantastic. It gives our tears a slowing effect, and that's going to be useful, especially if we get a tears upgrade in the boss room. Uh, so things aren't going so badly. Um, this is going much, much more smoothly than the first run that just happened where I died. Um, it's actually interesting, I recorded another run, but because it's been a while since I've done, uh, I've done a Let's Play, I actually messed up my video settings and it just sort of, like, ruined the video. Like, I did, I set something that I should not have, like, a, like a quality option. It just caused my entire video to be, like, really lagging and, and crappy. So, I actually have some footage, it's just, it's unwatchable, so I had to delete it. Um, let's actually kill some of these because it increases my damage and that's always good as Samson. Uh, oh man, I should not take a damage. That was my bad. Uh, let's kill these, uh, let's kill these spinners. I don't know, I'm just like making up names for these flies as they occur. Um, because I don't really know all the names. Meat! Fantastic! Oh, the audio glitched out and it's not playing the... I didn't... It hasn't finished playing the boss music, so that's interesting. Meat is a good item. It increases my health and it increases my rate of fire, both of which I desperately need as this particular character. Um, you know, I actually might just blow up this wall to get the key, uh, because trading a bomb for a key is really worth it. Um, any who knows, maybe there would have been a secret room there or something, I'm not sure. Um, spider bite. Going pretty well against these spiders. Um, I hate spiders. Uh, one interesting thing about, um, about the Bloody Lust, in case you didn't know, is that blowing up, like, enemies that have multiple parts counts as a kill. So when I split those spiders, it counts as a kill for me. This is fantastic. Uh, oh man, I really screwed up my dodging there. Uh, let's kill these guys. And you. And let's kill these guys. Good. So I took a little bit of damage. That was embarrassing, but not the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life. Uh, let's see here. Let's kill some dudes. And let's leave. I have a ton more keys now, which is fantastic. I'm tempted to open that golden chest, but I'll wait, because it might not be worth it. Who knows, man. Uh, so we're just gonna... Oh god, oh god. This is the room that killed me last time. It's not gonna kill me this time, because I have way more health than last time. But it is annoying. I just hate those those spiders, because they jump... Like, their distance is so... Random. Like, sometimes they jump, and it's like they don't jump very far at all. And then other times they jump, and it's like they clear the entire room. Like that, and they skid! Like, what is up with this, man? It's like Michael Jackson moonwalk all over, all over the floor. Uh, but in any case, I'll probably not take any damage to this floor just because the spider body is useful. A pill! I love pills. Let's see what it does. I do not love that pill. Luck down. That's too bad. Whore of Babylon. Not a bad item. Whore of Babylon, as you may recall from Eve, is, like, okay if you get down to no health. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. Uh, I guess, well, useless maybe is a harsh word. It's just hard to utilize properly put it really politically, I guess. Okay, nice. Killed all those guys at the same time. I want to go in here. Bum friend, not really that interested. The pill, maybe the spirit heart, definitely. So I will buy the pill. It's, oh, I just got that pill. I'm so stupid. Uh, luck down, not really interested in it. Although I hear that luck down is not a bad thing because it lets you, I'm going to gamble. Oh, good. I got my keys back. That's good. That's really what I wanted was those keys. Uh, and I kind of took a risk there. Um, and since I'm feeling so lucky, I'll probably open up that other golden chest, too. But, uh, I hear that luck down increases the chance that treasure chests appear, and a 1-up. That's fantastic. And that's always nice. Like, treasure chests are really good. So, uh, actually, it might be to your advantage to take luck down pills, is from what I hear. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna do all that. I'm gonna take the luck down pill, blow that up, open the chest, 
get my bomb back. So, worth it? Definitely not. But, whatever, man. Uh, the only other problem, I shouldn't actually... So, the, so, I guess, although Luckdown may be, like, somewhat useful, like, it might increase the rate that treasure chests appear or whatever, it does have the added side effect of making it so that all of my, like, slow effects and stuff don't happen as frequently. Uh, because those all proc based on my luck stat. Uh, you don't really get that amazing with that man. Oh god, I walked on that. I totally... This whole time I was trying to avoid that. It did not happen. And I got hit by that. That's terrible. Alright, whatever, man. Let's take our lipstick. Let's go into this deal with the devil room. Uh, Gummy's Tail, do not want. Book of Belial, useful, but I don't have three sun parts, so I can't get it. Uh, I guess that means I just drop down to the next floor. So I'm at the caves one. It's a bit scary that I don't have very much health, but as Sam said, that's something you just kind of get used to. And I'm dodging into bullets, which is fantastic. Uh, the nice thing about the slow is that it also decreases the speed at which those uh, projectiles fly. It's alright though, because I'm terrible and I still take damage, but whatever, man. I don't need, I don't need health. Alright, let's blow these guys up. The slow is kind of useful against these guys too, although I'm having a hard time hitting them. Just, oh god! I knew that was going to happen. I could really use a tears upgrade, let me tell you. I just cry so slowly. My manly tears do not cry fast enough. Oh, that was not a grammatical sentence. Yeah, that just confused you, I apologize. I really just want to slow the zombie, bro. Okay, good. Oh, I fucked that up, as usual. And let's slow him and hit him a couple times. Good. Okay. Good. That was a slight, slightly stressful, but whatever, man. I think I should be able to handle this room okay. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay. Good. That's dead. Now you. Time to die! Alright. I'm still, like, getting used to some of the bits of this game because I just I haven't played it in so long. Uh, like, I just, I don't know, tonight's been the first night in a while that I've played Oh god! So many bullets! Okay, see, as Sam said, you kind of have to order what you kill because you get those damage ups per room and it's really useful to have them. Oh god, oh god, I'm, I'm playing with fire here. Oh god, okay. Woo! That was scary. Uh, oh, there, okay, good. That was good. The Fool, useless card. It teleports me back to the starting room. Uh, although, I suppose it isn't necessarily, like, useless, useless, but it's just... It's not very often that you find yourself going, man, I wish I had the Fool card right about now. Although I suppose if, like, it's a huge floor and you have Curse of Darkness, it might be helpful because you can go back to the starting room and replan out your your route, if you will. I still haven't found the item room for this floor, which is a little distressing. I will definitely blow up this Tinted Rock for the contents and that chest. The chest contains a ton of money, which is fantastic. Our shop might actually be liable later. So let's go to this mob trap room and see what's inside since now I have two total hearts. It's an HP upgrade, which means I pretty much have to take it. Now, I can actually use the pool card to teleport out, and I'm thinking about doing it. Uh, it's just that this mob trap room isn't that hard, so I'm hoping that if I take the time to actually do the mob trap room, I'll get a consumable item, and that will be useful. Uh, plus, you know, I'm getting my damage up, so these flies should not be a problem at all. Let's pop this human popcorn thing, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, let's try not to take damage from those spitty guys. I don't like them. Uh, okay, good. He's dead. And you are uh, dead. Dead? Yes. Uh, and good. Last one. Oh, more of these guys. Oh, I knew I was going to take damage there. I fucked that up. That's okay, though. Oh, okay. Scary ride. All right, that's good. So I lost a half a spirit heart. So let's hope that whatever I get is worth that. Uh, I got a chest, and it contained a bomb and key. I would say that is definitely worth it because the key makes it so that I can most certainly go to the shop. And the bomb increases my chances of finding the secret room, which is always nice to have. Now let's kill these floating head dudes. So yeah, I mean, it's good to be back. I feel like this is going to be a common theme this episode. Is sort of getting my bearings again, redoing. Uh, let's play is, you know, now with a better microphone, hopefully I won't sound so crappy and disgusting and, you know, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I mean, 
hope you guys are enjoying these 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 finding wise lights. I hope you're not as you're not tired of the game yet. Because I don't know that I'll ever be tired of this game. I put so much time into it. Uh let's go. Bobby Bob! I feel like I'm getting a lot of bomb upgrades this time around, but let's go to the shop. Mom's coin purse. Or no, mom's purse, excuse me. The purse is good. Double trinkets, double the fun. I will definitely take the spirit heart. Uh, will I take the tarot card? No, not really. Uh, so let's blow up this wall here because I have a feeling that our secret room is in here. It is. Uh, I get some more money, which is good because it might make uh, future shops useful. So let's uh, let's just continue onwards and go kill that boss, shall we? Uh, I have 11 bombs, which is normally... It's a pretty high amount of bombs, I, gave, I gotta say, so I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, could still use some more health because as Sam said you could always use more of that. Uh, let's... Oh my goodness. That was terrible. I walked into that. Also one of the nice things is that when you slow enemies they don't they don't get to jump as far. Peep is a terrible boss for Samson because as you may notice I'm never gonna get the damage proc with uh, with Samson because I can't kill any little enemies to make to expedite this process even though even the slightest so basically the only option I have is to just sort of do this normal game with very low damage. Uh, oh, good. Oh, ugh. I gotta be careful. I gotta be... I always gotta be able to look out for this. Ah! I've walked into that twice now. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh, okay. Okay, now there's double eyes, which... Oh, god, I walked into them! This is the worst. Okay, he's jumping over here. Oh, this is taking forever. Okay, let's see if that kills him. Maybe. Yeah, it did. Woohoo! Okay, good job, team. Magic 8 Ball. Tears up, which is good. Strength card is much more useful than the fool, so... Let's jump down. I still cry very slowly. And I still don't have that much health, although I'm slowly improving my chances of survival. So, you know, a lot of this game is just survival until the next floor, so... Let's continue onwards. Die. Good. Okay. So, the Moblins, reducing them to that pile of meat counts as a kill for the the Rage procs. So that's good. Uh, those guys are pretty easy to kill as, uh, as Samson. Okay. Let's kill all some flies, because that'll make my damage really good. Uh, let's just sort of aim like this. See if I can't hit these, uh, these guys here. Alright. Oh. Oh, good. Good! These groups sometimes can be stressful, but that's okay. I can't access that without taking damage of some sort or having something like flight. Uh, let's just kill these guys. Oh, that hit me! I'm really disappointed by that. Although I don't suppose... Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is the worst. I'm taking so much damage! I have to use the strength card to give myself extra health. I trapped myself in a corner like an idiot. Oh, I'm so bad. I took so much damage. Oh, man, that's rough. Oh, hopefully I don't die again. Uh, because that would be really disappointing. Let's kill this fl- Oh, my God. This is so gross. At least I have the one-up. I really was not anticipating using it on the caves part two. But that's okay. You win some, you lose some. Let's keep shooting these guys. I'm taking a pretty nonchalant stance towards dying in this game just because I've died so many times with really good items sometimes. Oh, I died! That's so frustrating. I had him. Oh, man. This is silly. I am not pleased with my performance right now. I'm going to blame it on being rusty, but that's really not a good excuse. And I just uploaded, like, last week, the last video that I uploaded was that blue baby, those three blue baby runs that all ended in disaster. Um, I almost don't want to talk about that, that's how embarrassed I am by it. Uh, should I use my glass key there? Nope, not even a little bit. Um, so now I don't have the one-up, which means that if I die, it's forever. Uh, that's disappointing, but I guess there was really nothing I could have done about that whole... You know, there's nothing I can do now about the fact that I don't have a one-up, so now I'm just going to have to keep playing this game the way I normally would, which is, you die, and that's it. Oh, come on. I should have expected to take that damage, but... Alright, two keys, that's good. 
If I find a secret room, it might make the uh, might make this shop useful if I have enough money. Come on, poop. All right, nothing. Uh, those that's not enough money to justify using all those bombs. So let's just keep hunting for our seat for well maybe not the secret room although I do have a lot of bombs but definitely the item room and the shop I do need so let's just keep going oh this is this could suck but having the spider bite will help a lot where'd the middle one go did I kill it or was this only two that's a library and the library has books uh, most books I find aren't that useful the only ones that are useful are like book of Belial for example so wow I killed that thing fast uh, alright. Oh, fuck you, man. This is just, it's going so rough. Just die. Good, poison damage. Is it worth the bomb? Probably not, but I gotta be careful here. I'm on the verge of death again, which is really silly. All right, what's in here? A blue heart, fantastic. I really needed that. Probably saved my life. Um, still haven't found item room or shop yet, which is really stupid. Uh, I really want those those rooms, and still have yet to get them. All right, let's go. Let's not take any damage this room. Okay. Oh my god! As I say that, spits a fly right on top of me. I guess this is what I get for getting so close to these enemies. You're probably watching right now, just like you know punching yourself in the face because you can't punch me because you're so frustrated how poorly I'm playing. But I promise I'm not this bad. Oh, I promise. Alright, another key. Another key is fantastic. It might make the library useful depending on what I get in the item room. Okay, I had to be careful. I almost, I almost took stupid damage right there. Uh, Alright, let's kill some of these some of these uh, giant worm things uh, for lack of a better name. Oh god, oh god, the scary ride. Uh Okay. Okay, that one's dead. And no, no. Gosh dang it, I can't hit these things. There's so many rocks in the way. Okay, good, that one's dead. And this one is dead. Good. Fantastic. Alright. I didn't even take damage to that floor. Fantastic. Hermit! Teleports me to the shop which might contain a mini-boss for all I know, so I'm a little wary, but I might do it to save myself a key. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Oh my god. I am so bad. This hurts me physically to play like this. Okay, I have a lot of keys now. All of a sudden, Guardian Angel. Maybe too little too late. Guardian Angel, for those who don't know, is one of those orbitals that spins around me. The nice thing about Guardian Angel is that uh, not only does it do damage to enemies that come into contact with it, but it doubles the speed at which orbitals spin around me. Well, this is stupid. I totally am going to die again. Like, it's just going to happen. I don't have enough health to survive this. Okay, good. Good. Die, please. Die. Are you dead? Yay, death. Okay, is this luck down? Totally is luck down. Don't want. I really do not want luck down. I'm scared right now. I'm scared that if I teleport to the shop, bad things will happen to my body. I'm just really fearful. Okay. Oh, what was I thinking? I don't even know what was, what was I doing? I thought Guardian Angel was going to hit it. Well, that's disappointing. Ah. Yep. Okay. 